Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. And I'm pretty excited for tonight because we are heading the whole way back to the early 80s and then also up until 1990 ripping some older wax packs. So there's going to be a lot of nostalgia tonight and we're going to try to take you back to those great childhood memories of ripping these packs as a kid. We have 40 different packs to go through. Actually, there's some of them are the same, but you know what I mean. Um, starting with 81, the whole way up to 1990. And we're going to waste no more time. We're getting started. And I had to have these divide up into four different pack lots. And also, I'm going to take a second and say if, to any of you that aren't subscribed, if you enjoy the videos, please do so. I feel like, I think it's like 60% of the people that watch this channel are not subscribers. So <laughs> if you have a, a, an active YouTube handle and you enjoy the videos, please take a second and click that subscribe button. The very first person up here is going to be John A. in lot number one. Now, two of these lots have some of these 81 Tops packs. I don't know if I've ever actually opened a pack of these. But um, first time for everything, we have 10 packs per stack. And we have some pretty nice ones in here, all the way up to some junk wax era stuff, but we are still searching for some nice rookie cards in 87 and 89. But um, let's go ahead and let's start backwards, build up some suspense. Every single pack lot's going to have a pack of 90 tops, a wax pack, so chance of a Frank Thomas and anyone front is always there. And John A., you're up first, man. Good luck to you. Let's see what we can pull you guys. Right off the bat, Johnny Bench, turn back the clock card. It's fitting for tonight's series. If we could find a Frank Thomas regular rookie card, it'd be pretty sick. Vince Coleman, record breakers. Tops Magazine, that was pretty freaking awesome. Hey, Jay's openings, what's happening, man? Vaughn Calderon. We've seen a lot of these in this channel, Joe Oliver. And Darnell Coles, no, no name on front in the first pack. Let's see if we can find ourselves... A Griffey rookie card. Also, John Smoltz is in this set for Bowman. Tina Martinez rookie card, along with Steve Finley and Gary Sheffield, can be found in 89 Bowman. I love these cards as a kid. As I got older, I just really did not like them. And I think a lot of people share the same feelings on that. Andy Bennis was a hot one back then. That's actually his rookie card. Juan Berenger. And the brothers Roberto and Sandy Alomar Jr. with their father. Burt Blylevin's a, hard, or a Hall of Famer. John Ace is Darnell Cole's worst third base ever. Richie Ashburn, reprint card. These uh, Tiffany cards that they made in this year can be pretty valuable. Corey Snyder was a big name in the 80s. Billy Ripken and Kent Herbeck. Same year Billy Ripken decided to write that uh, naughty word on the bottom of his bat. Donald Blomdahl's here again with a cool emoji. Donald, good to see you in here two nights in a row, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. We're going to go on to 89 Don Russ. Crown Apple Kids says, you got your phone charged tonight. Yeah, it's like halfway charged. So I'm going to try not to let that happen again. I actually found a solution for it today. Something I should have done a long time ago. But I bought an adapter. So uh, it's like a dual adapter. that allows you to plug a microphone into one side and a charger on the other side. I'm like, oh, that's freaking sweet. Hey, Lion Cards Game Day. What's happening? Dave West, Raid Rookie, was a pretty decent one back in 89. Obviously looking for the Ken Griffey Jr. BGO, Kurt Schilling can be found in this set. Smoltz, Sheffield. There's Andre Dawson. Rex Hudler, Mike Balecki, and Lance Blankenship. No big ones in that pack. Taking us to, we'll work our way back, like I said, 87 tops. Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson, Barry Larkin, Will Clark. Also, Ruben Sierra can be found in here as well, if you're a Ruben Sierra fan. That gum is freaking welded on there. So, looking for some prominent rookies of this era in here. Lee Mazzilli, Kelly Downs, Pete Incavilia Gold Cup card, Spring Fever card, and one per pack. Dwight Evans, Mike Diaz. I feel like he was a precursor for somebody. Jim Wynn. Hopefully it wasn't a precursor for Jim Wynn. Paul Molitor is a Hall of Famer. And Jeff Dedman. Mark McGuire's first Major League Tops card also can be found in that set. Paul Molitor being the best card in that one. We have some uh, pretty nice ones. I guess I didn't even go ahead and show you all the packs we have in here. 84 Fleer, looking for Mattingly and Strawberry in that set. 83 Fleer, Gwynn. Boggs, Sandberg, 82, Don Russ. 
Obviously, uh, the Ripken and Lee Smith, 86, Don Russ. Canseco is a big one in there. 81 would be Tim Raines. Fernando Valenzuela, rookie cards also in there. Along with Harold Baines. And we have 82, Fleer, Ripken again, and Lee Smith. Um, I was getting excited there. Jumped the gun. <laughs> Go back to 86. Corey, what's happening, man? I wasn't sure if you were still drowning on. 86, Don Russ. Like I said a lot, Fred McGriff is also another big one in here. Mookie Wilson leading us off here. I always like this design. Darnell Coles, put him on the omen watch list. Paul L., if you were in here. Ozzie Smith is a nice one. That one's off center, though. Roger Clemens, back-to-back. -back. And Eric Davis, second-year card. It looks like this pack, all these kind of got cut off center. Jim Sundberg, Doyle Alexander. Fingers crossed. Andres Galarraga can also be found in here as well. John Habian, Johnny Abrigo, and... No McGriff or Canseco. I've still never pulled that Canseco out of a pack to this day. It's still on my freaking bucket list. It seems like at this rate, it's always going to be on my bucket list. I'll take it back to 84. Collector Hollock, what's up, man? Sparky Anderson. <laughs> Even the checklist card looks pissed off. Sparky Anderson. Madden Lee's the big one in this set. Ken Griffey's seen it. These ones seem to be... Cut pretty bad, too. Paul Mulder. Willie McGee, it's a second-year card for him. Dan Billardello. Pete Rose, Tony Perez, and Joe Morgan, who just passed away yesterday. Rest in peace. Vaughn Hayes. George Brett is a nice one. That one is off-center as well. And Hubie Brooks looks terrified. And the one-per-pack sticker card. But uh, nice George Brett nonetheless, even though it's off-center. <laughs> that Sparky Anderson card. <laughs> oh, that's glorious. 83 Fleer. Baltimore Box Breakers is in here. It says, Old Wax is the best. Hope you've been well, John. Thank you so much, Ron. I appreciate that. And likewise to you, man. It's good to see you in here. I know that uh, you can enjoy yourself some Old Wax. She bought this, this collection off of a guy. He's had it for a very long time, apparently, but uh, I guess he was moving and just was trying to get rid of all of it. So, Dodger sticker. We, we ripped the box of these, I don't know, probably six months ago. And I think we found two of the three rookies. There's Willie Stargell is a nice one there. I always like this set, though. Obviously, the three big ones, Sandberg, Gwynn, and Boggs. Onyx Concepcion. Jerry Morales, Bill Lasky, and Doug Corbett. No sign of any rookies in that pack. Criterion Racer says, wish I got on this break. Lee, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, I figured that you probably would be trying to get into this one. This one sold out, I think, in like, I don't even know, under a minute or under two minutes or something like that. Uh, hopefully we can do more of these at some point. Lee, I know you like the older stuff. I'm trying to preserve these pack wrappers because I'm trying to make a collage that I have in my living room right now, and I don't really have any older tops, like early 80s tops pack wrappers in there. 82 Don Ross, Ripken, and Lee Smith, the big ones in this set. Steve Kemp, <laughs> it's a funny card. Denny Martinez. Who's that? Gidry and Tommy John. A cool card. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Jeff Reardon, second year card for him. He's a pretty good pitcher. Danny Ainge, it's a second year card for him. That's actually pretty sweet. Terry Francona, rookie card. We finally have found one. Third to last pack. Francona is definitely a decent one. And uh, luckily, this one's not horribly off center, left to right like some of the other ones. Off top to bottom, of course. But what are you going to do? Definitely sharp, pristine edges at the very least. So that's nice. Bert Campanaris. Nice Francona rookie card, though. I really like that one. And Danny Ainge, second year. Best pack so far. And that takes us to the final two. We'll go to 82 Fleer. See if we can't find ourselves a Ripken in here. Now, I ripped a box of these, like, what, I don't know, a month or two ago? And came up short to not find the Ripken, but we found the Lee Smith error card, which is pretty sick. Detroit Tigers sticker. Alan Ripley. Big old dip in. Also, the John Littlefield reverse negative can be found in here. It's a pretty expensive card. A lot of reprints floating around out there, so you got to be careful. Jim Kern, 
Bob Sykes, Mike O'Berry. For a second there, I thought he didn't have any arms. <laughs> like from his sleeves down, it creeped me out. Mike Caldwell, Vita Blue is a decent one. Andre Thornton and Ron Jackson in that pack. No sign of Ripken or Lee Smith. And the final pack, 81 tops. Like I said, I don't think I've ever opened a pack of these before. Sealed for almost 40 years. And we are looking for Baines rookie, Tim Raines, and also Fernando Valenzuela. And, yeah, I definitely have never opened a pack of these because I don't remember a piece of gum like that. But, um, I mean, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to eat that. Norman R is in here. I said, hey, John, missed on this. We got the Tiffany cards today. Keep up the great rips, buddy. Norman R, thanks so much, man. I'm glad that the, uh, the cards arrived safe. Good to see you in here, Norman. Hope all is well with you. Thought that was a Baines rookie for a second. Woody Fryman. Ed Farmer. These are pretty pristine looking cards. Another Steve Kemp. <laughs> And I guess these are one per pack. That's pretty sick. Hit to win. This gum is actually not that bad. Kurt Gibson, rookie, is also in here. Thank you, Jason M. Don Robinson, Mickey Hatcher. Luis Salazar, we do have the prospect cards coming up. Yeah. Jim Dorsey, rookie card. And the Cubbies team card here. Ends that first stack out as I spit out the gum and possibly my teeth. Sorry, that was uh, pretty close to the microphone. <laughs> Sorry if I blew your ears out, but not that bad. All right. Lot one is in the books. Terry Francona, the best rookie card we found in there. John A., thank you for participating. Hopefully, um, we see at least one of these big-name rookie cards tonight. That gum is, like, expanded out to the dark corners of my mouth. Pretty filthy. All right, next up. We have Kurt W., Kurt's Cards. <laughs> WVJJ says a 2 a.m. Jomi rushed to the hospital for chewing that gum. That'd be, I actually wouldn't oppose that because then I wouldn't have to go to work tomorrow. So maybe I should cross my fingers if that happens. All right, we have another pack of 81 tops. 82 Fleer. We have 83 Don Russ in this one. 85 tops. Looking for McGuire, Clemens, and Puckett. 86 Fleer. So a little bit different variety there. 87 Don Russ, love this set. 89 Fleer, 89 Don Russ, 90 Leaf. Whoa, check that out. And 1990 Tops. So we will start with 90 Tops and see if we can pull this Frank Thomas nut him on front. And if we, for some reason, would, don't be surprised if uh, we experience any technical difficulties like we did last night. <laughs> Never to be heard from again. <laughs> Paul says, sorry, no G.I. Joe I was in the hospital with gum stuck in my mouth. Joker68, what's up, man? Jeff Robinson leads it off. Julio Machado. Bucky Dent. Let's at least find a Frank Thomas rookie card. A Topps Magazine we can say go on. It's sick. Paul O'Neill for Norman R. Shout out to Norman, who I think he's still in here. Tony La Russa and Juan Samuel. No Frank Thomas in that pack. Kurt W., let's hope for better luck in this pack. We have a pack of Series 2 here. Series 2 has possible Larry Walker and Frank Thomas. Sosa's in Series 1. Also the Nolan Ryan um, commemorative card in here. Mandela effect. Yeah, I kind of felt the same way. 90 Leaf is such an awesome set. These boxes really surged. The beginning of the lockdown, these were like, I think Series 2 box, there was a Series 2 box that sold for like 250 bucks or something crazy like that. 
And uh, there's a local card shop right down the road from my house. I went there like, I don't know, a few months back and bought a box of Series 1 and Series 2 sealed for 150 I couldn't believe it. I'm just keeping them. <laughs> good evening, Taco Bell lovers, Sal says. And good evening to you as well, man. That's a great entrance. Fred Manrique, Scott Ruskin. Let's cross our fingers for one of these rookies. These cards so far look uh, pretty decently centered. Jack Morris. I can't remember who the precursors are in this or in these ones. Jose Offerman, we've been squealing in 1990 if we'd have pulled that one. That was a big rookie card back then. Xavier Hernandez, Jeff Reed, and Greg Harris robs us of a possible Frank Thomas. Unfortunately, still love that set and love that design. Regardless, we'll go to uh, 89 Don Russ next. See if we can't find. That Schilling rookie, which his PSA 10s really surged once people realized he is definitely going to get into the hall. Dennis Cook. <laughs> I think that's actually his rookie card. Edgar Martinez. It looks like we have a John Smoltz rookie coming up. This is Edgar Martinez's second year, and we do have a Smoltz rookie. And this one looks pretty freaking nice. I don't know PSA 10 of this card would go for. Probably about 40 bucks somewhere around there. Maybe even a little more, but um, I don't know. That one looks pretty freaking solid to me. For Junk Wax Era card, I don't really see any white shilling or anything like that. And the side-to-side -side is pretty freaking nice. I always liked that card, though. Very, very nice. Smoltz Rookie and Dante Bichette Rookie. This was a big one back in 1989, too. I remember having this and being really stoked on it. Kevin Brown and a checklist card. Nice Smoltz, though. So two rookies we found so far. Frank Kona, Smoltz. Let's see if we can make that a Griffey or a freaking Billy Ripken F face card or Randy Johnson Marlboro card. Let's see Gooden on the back. Sam the Coin Master says any high end rookies pulled yet? Nothing high end yet. I've seen a couple. Don Hankel, another Mandela effect on that one. Storm Davis. Between 89 Fleer and 1990 Fleer, they're like the hardest cards to sift through quickly. Like if you're going through them looking for like errors or whatever else. Kent Decolve popping a squad. Sabo and Bobby Bo. About time Sabo showed up and Doc Gooden ends that pack out for Kurt. And it's going to 87. And I forgot to mention, too, after we are done with this, we're going to do a quick auction just to sell off the rest of the card lots that um, we didn't get to last night because I was not responsible and didn't plug my phone in and it died. Leaving everyone angry and pissed off. Tito Landrum with Pink Eye. Doug Drabeck. That's actually his rookie card, I believe. Or first Don Russ card. I think. I'm pretty sure. Trammell looking pissed off. Looking for Maddox rookie Bonds. Bo Jackson. Barry Larkin. Harold Baines. Benito Santiago. That's not a bad one. That was a pretty decent card many, many years ago. Eric King and Roger Mason. Really sweaty. Roy Beast says, do you have a spare battery? I don't, man. But uh, I I came up with a quick fix for it that should be here in the mail in a few days. So will not happen again. Mark R says, mm, auction. People go nuts over the auctions. I didn't think people liked them that much. Donald Blomdoss says, are you plugged in tonight? Um, not yet. I like using a microphone because the room that I'm in has a stairwell, like pretty much right in front of me. And because of that, there's a big gap there. So I feel like my voice like travels, you know, all over the place. That's why I like to use a microphone. But um, yeah, sometimes I'll get like a 20% notification or 10% notification on my battery, and I'll just like get caught up in the auction and forget about it. <laughs> Next thing you know, my phone dies. Yeah, so I bought an adapter so that won't happen again. Philadelphia Phillies sticker there. 86 Fleer, looking for Conseco's rookie, obviously. So Paul O'Neill can be found in here, along with Cecil Fielder. I always like this design, too. Steve Shields, Larry Parrish, Bill Allman, and Dave Kingman. <laughs> RJ's says, I got another 75 bucks to blow. Yeah, I appreciate everyone that participated in the auction last night. Uh, everything went paid for. And we have, um, I have like, I don't know, maybe like 10... 10 different uh, lots or something like that to auction off tonight. 
Again, not my cards are for somebody else. <laughs> Lease is another beautifully ghetto auction. I'm sure it will be. 85 Tops wrapper. I might need this one for my collage. I don't know. I kind of want to eat that gum. I think 81 might be the oldest piece of gum I've ever eaten. So I set a new personal record for myself tonight. I'm pretty pretty proud of myself. As long as I don't end up in the hospital. Big Mac rookie card. Clemens pocket. Let's see if we can find him in here. Keith Moreland. Dale Barra. Bert Hooten. Joe Altobelli. Never heard of him before. Don Blomos says, can we add tonight to yesterday's auctions? Yeah, if you won anything in yesterday's auctions, you already paid the shipping, then yeah, you don't have to worry about it. You're good to go. Carlton Fisk. Looks like we got a Joe Carter. Well, that is that is weird. Joe Carter, 85 tops. Looks identical to that. Billy Sample. Randy Lurch with a little, I don't know, devious smile on his face there. <laughs> Dennis Rasmussen. We literally pulled like 40 of that card in the Yak Pack case rip. Carlos Diaz. Joe Yankee, shout out to you. I'll be sending that big stack to you with your break from tonight. Um, 83 Don Russ looking for the usual suspects. We got Boggs, Gwen, and Sandberg rookies that can be found in here. Boxes of these are pretty expensive. They're like 250 or 300 bucks now. It's pretty crazy. We ripped a box of these like a few months back. I was able to get one for a not so insane price. Dave Steve for Joe's Card Crow. I don't think he's in here. Tibby Martinez. These are like almost nearly identical to 82 Don Ross. Bill Buckner passed away. Was that earlier this year or last year? I cannot remember. Steve McCaddy. Wally Backman. Kurt's Cards. What's up, man? Denny Martinez. You're just in time, man. There's a Griffey Sr. And Ed Vandenberg. Was that last year? Jeez. Time freaking flies. 82 Fleer, 81 tops. So the final two of Kurt's stack here. Jeez, I don't know if I've ever seen that happen before. Like, what is there gum in here? There can't be. The sticker was sticking to the wrapper. Thoughts on the new on the new Ghostbusters movie? Sam says. I'm not not looking forward to it. I'm not stoked about it at all, and I, I guess I'll go see it, but um, I'll give it a chance at least. Just I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to it. It just feels too much like a reboot to me with kids. Bob Welch, Dickie Thon. I mean, they swear that uh, like the diehard fans of the originals are gonna like the new movie, but I don't know. I think I'm very picky in my old age. Stickers, <laughs> Rich Gedman, also looking for the little field reverse negative. Fred Lynn, Don Robinson, Mike Marshall, Lloyd Mosby, Glenn Hubbard, and Danny Heap. No big stars in that pack either. That stickers an eBay one of one. Taking us to the final pack, the eighty-one tops. Let's find a nice rookie in here. The original cast are returning. Yeah, they're supposed to be in it, but yeah, Harold Ramis. Hopefully they CGI him in there or something. It's like the cast of Stranger Things. I want to eat that, but uh, I'm not, I'll spare you guys. Jason M says Joe Antebelli was the Orioles, Orioles manager in 83 when they won the World Series. I did not know that. I was not even alive then. Al Holland. Greg Lazinski. There's a Yaz. Very nice. About time we saw a pretty big name in uh, one of these older packs. Pretty nice looking card, too. It's not horribly off center. <laughs> Scholars has eaten. I actually ate the last piece, and I think I upset everybody. Jim McLaughlin, we have that scratch off card. Bob Watson, Bert Hooten, Phillies, Indians, and Dan Graham. I was hoping we get a prospect card in there, but uh, no such luck. Yaz, very, very nice condition on that one. Decent center in the front, and John Smoltz, rookie card, in very good condition. If I were Kurt, I'd probably send that off if that's something that you do. Might get a 10 back, and like I said, I think a Smoltz 10 is probably around, like, I don't know, 40 or 50 bucks. Maybe a little more. Somewhere uh, in that range. Yeah, Mike Kishkrimski. He's old, but he is good. That takes us on to the next pack lot here. Thank you guys all again for being here. I appreciate it. 
Lot number three is Andrew K, who's actually pretty close to me. He's probably a half hour on the road. Small world. All right, so we have some different packs in here now. We have 81 Fleer this time around. 82 Tops. I haven't seen that one yet. 84. We actually just gave away the Mattingly uh, Tops rookie card on Patreon tonight. 85 Don Russ. 86 Tops. So we have some different pack selection. 87 Don Russ. 87 Fleer is a new one to the lineup. 89 Fleer, 89 Bowman, and of course, 1990 Tops, our beloved set. Jeremiah, thanks, man. Thanks for being here. Let's see if we can find, see if we can find a Frank Thomas rookie card at this point. I'll take that. Take a Sosa. Give us something nice. <laughs> Paul also says, John is a fetish for 1990 Tops. I kind of gave up on him. One day we will go back to these once I buy a case. There's Puckett. I was actually eyeballing a case of Jumbo Packs. On eBay, it was like 250 bucks. Oh, that was Kurt Schilling for a second. The card looks identical to Mark Williamson. Delano De Shields, hot rookie card back in 1990. And Eric Davis. Mark R., thanks, man. I appreciate your support. I'm not going to eat that gum. I will spare you of that. We'll go to 89 Bowman next. See if we can find a Griffey. Or the... Don Gordon, the Tom Gordon rookie card that's actually an error. Darnell Coles, he is definitely a new omen. Tom Glavin, second year card. Ken O'Burkfell, I always forget he played for the Buccos. So Jackie Robinson reprint. We got a Jackie Robinson lot tonight in that auction. Any events like Gary Templeton, Jody Davis, and Hubie Brooks ends that stack out. Very similar to the design to 1990 Bowman, different color. Uh, we'll go to, there's no 87 tops in there, there's 86. 86 tops kind of got the shaft on good rookie cards. They all ended up in the 86 traded set. But you still have a couple in there. You got Cecil Fielder. Harold Reynolds, if you want to consider that like a top rookie, but it really is one of the biggest rookies in the set along with Ozzie Gian. So Cecil Fielder is probably the best one you can get. Clemens' second-year card, Nolan Ryan, probably the best cards in the set. But I will always like this design, though. Corey says Cecil. You say Cecil, I say Cecil. Mike Pagliarulo still has people twisting their tongue to this day. Alan Bannister, Alejandro Sanchez. Yeah, Dykstra rookie cards also in the set, too. It's Dykstra, Vince Coleman. Charles Hudson, nothing really in that pack at all. Taking us to 85, Don Russ. Very hard to find a 10 in, a ten in that set. Yeah, if you can find even just a 10 common, it's somewhat big bucks. Saberhagen rookie card. Check that out. Right on top. That's pretty freaking awesome. <sighs> uh, definitely... Off center, but uh, always nice to find these rookies in just one pack. Saber Egg and rookie. That's a nice one, though. Not a Hall of Famer, but still one hell of a pitcher. Love those raid rookie cards. Never open a box, 85 Don Russ. we have to change that sometime soon. Maybe the coming months we'll rip a box of these. Burt Blylevin. Imagine it's probably pretty hard to get a nicely centered anything out of here. Jose Cruz. But we did end up with Burt Blylevin. Or not Brett Blalem, Brett Saberhagen. Not too shabby. Still nice to find one of them. I guess we'll go to... I skipped over some here. We'll go to 87 Don Russ. See if we can find a Bonds or Maddox. Any other ones. Kevin Brown rookie card right on top. And it's actually not too bad looking. It's actually centered left to right like perfectly. Which is very difficult for these ones. But the baseballs are a dead giveaway. Uh, definitely a nice rookie card, though. Kevin Brown pitched for a long time. Pretty nice-looking card. And a really haggard-looking Bob James. <laughs> Ed Whitson. I didn't realize some of those funny photography in here. Bob Kipper. Sobbing. Now, there's some some good cards in here. Ozzy Virgil. Frank DiPino. Eric just ripped a box with him. Tartable second-year card. Jim Presley and... Nothing else too notable in there, but Kevin Brown, rookie, and also Saberhagen. Two good pitchers, rookie cards. Not a crazy amount of value to those or anything, but um, still nice ones. Skipped over 89 Fleer. Yeah, I was definitely a Kipper fan because he's a Buccos pitcher, and that's a hometown team. But 
bad photo at the ballpark that day. The quad sticker card. Looking for Griffey, obviously, and any of these error cards. There's Kruk. Bob Malacky, Jim Corsi, rookie card. Looks like we have a Tim Raines and also a McGriff coming up in here. Darwin, Wally Joyner, and there is Fred McGriff, who is a should-be Hall of Famer. 87 Fleer, first time doing this one tonight. <laughs> Forget Griffey, I want Keith Atherton. Yeah, Keith Atherton is amazing. There's Bucko sticker, one per pack. Bill Madlock. Wally Joyner rookie card. That was a freaking hot card back at 87. In the years after. Bob Kipper again. There's Redis. Mets star card. Gary Carter. Tony Fernandez. Doc Gooden. Keith Hernandez and Daryl Strawberry. Pretty sick lineup there. Goose Gossage and Dave Schmidt. Best card in there being the Wally Joyner rookie card. Jeremiah, thanks, man. I appreciate that, man. Sid Fernandez. I say Tony Fernandez. Um, 84 tops is up next. Yeah, Joyner was all the craze with Greg Jeffries. <clears throat> that Corey Snyder's 86 Don Russ was on fire back then. Ron Kittle's 83 Fleer. Some of those cards that have literally no value to them now are really big cards back then. Steve Carlton. Leads off in this pack. That's a nice one. We're doing 84 tops. Looking for, obviously, Mattingly, Strawberry. Andy Van Slight rookies in here. Nice looking Carlton, though. like that one a lot. Juan Berenger. Let's find ourselves a Donnie Baseball in here. Bill Madlock. I had that car as a kid, and I was really stoked on it. Rick Roden. Lloyd Mosby. Mickey Hatcher. Burt Blylevin. Fred Lynn. Rick Cerrone, the wrong Yankee there. Willie Upshaw. 84 Tops is such an awesome design. Really cool. I love those cards. Uh, we'll go to 82 Tops next. Actually, you know what? Let's do 80, 81 Fleer. We'll save the Tops pack for last. 81 Fleer. <coughs> Excuse me. You have, obviously, the Harold Baines rookie. Nice. This actually doesn't look too bad. It's almost edible. Maybe I'll eat that off camera later. Jeff Burrows. Joe B, thanks, man. Leon Roberts was a huge dip in. And, oh, nice. Look at that. One of the big rookies finally comes out. And it's not Raleigh Fingers. Fernando Valenzuela. Not a Hall of Famer, but one hell of a pitcher. And this one, of course. Look, <laughs> look at the cut on that. It's pretty crooked, if you can tell in person. It's a, it's a trapezoid is what that is. But still an iconic card, Fernando Valenzuela. Fernand is what they printed on the card. I never actually corrected it. But uh, one of the biggest rookies you can pull out of there, along with Kurt Gibson, Harold Baines, Tim Raines did not have a card in 81 Fleer, but uh, very, very nice. Greg Minton, Randy Martz, Kent DeColve, Burt Blylevin. haven't seen a ton of his cards in these packs. Greg Gross and Ed Whitson. <laughs> Raleigh spent 40 years on top of him. <laughs> yeah, definitely a nice rookie card there. Andrew K. And our final pack. And I see, is that Dave Rigetti, rookie nuts, Goose Gossage, all star card? 82 tops. I always like this one too, and I has a huge gum again. We'll save that for later. Definitely going to be taking a trip to the hospital later tonight with all this dirty gum sitting around. I'm not going to be able to hold out. Goose Gossage. Does he have the scum stash there? I can't tell if it's just really light or if that's pre scum stash. Bucky Dent. Reggie Jackson is a nice one. Two Hall of Fame All Star cards in this pack. There's actually a Pascal Perez error card in here that's pretty freaking rare and pretty valuable. Juan Bonilla, Manny Trio, every card is a facsimile auto. Stickers are one per pack. Bob Boone, very freckly faced Mike Griffin. Paul Splitorf, and there's Keith Hernandez again. A lot of fans of him out there. Bob Forge and Keith. Britt Burns and Rick Monday. 
This sounds like a fake name. Goose Gossage, Reggie Jackson, the best cards of that pack. Fernando Valenzuela, rookie card. Not too bad. Like I always say, you know, to pull one of the big rookies out of one pack is that's pretty good luck. You know, if you open a whole box of 81 Fleer, you you probably only end up seeing one at the absolute most, maybe two of that card. So to pull it out of one pack is pretty good. And that takes us to our final lot of the night. Joe Baumgarten. I don't know if he's in here or not. I've been missing a lot of the comments because I've been so wrapped up in this, so I apologize. But uh, I'm having too much fun. Okay, so start off in the junk wax era. We got 90 tops. We have 90 leaf. We have another pack, 89 Don Rust, 87 Fleer. 87 tops again, 81 Don Rust this time. And 83 tops. And look at that, 84 Don Rust. Those boxes are freaking super expensive now. Uh, 85 Fleer and 86 tops. So we got some new packs to add to the mix. We'll start off with 90 tops. Again, looking for Frank Thomas. This is the final lot. We had four lots, 10 packs each. I bought like a 2,000 count box full of packs, but about half of them are all really junk wax packs like... Um, you know, 91 score and 91 Don Ross, 91 Fleer, stuff like that. So the one side was full of decent ones. I'm using those for this break. The other side, I just send packs off to people periodically and stuff like that. So I, I called it at 90 tops just because of the potential to find Frank Thomas. Don Zimmer looking pissed off. Dave Magadan. Precursor for the Frank Thomas is Kurt Schilling, I believe. Jeff Robinson, Julio Machado again, Bucky Dent, Wetland, and Mel Stottlemyre. Taking us to, I guess we'll do 90 Leaf next. I got to get the suspense out of the way. This is also Series 2 as well. Looking for Thomas and Larry Walker. Let's try and find one. Those are pretty high dollar cards and high grades nowadays. Even the regular Frank Thomas Raws. It's around like 30 or 40 bucks now, something like that, I think. All right. Ted Power. Jeff Montgomery, Daryl Boston. Matt Young, McFarlane, Tim Tuffle. Mark Gardner, wrong expo. No Larry Walker or Frank Thomas in that pack. <laughs> Jeremiah says how many times will pass they looking pissed off there are a lot of pissed off photos in uh, this era you don't see those anymore it's sad I need to bring those back 89 Don Russ looking for Griffey obviously found the smolts in the last box or two boxes ago quite a few to find in here Greg Olson another hot one from back then Sutcliffe Cecil Fielder I used to love that card a lot as a kid I don't know why, but I um, thought that was really cool. Eric Schall, Matt Williams, second-year card of him. Keith Hernandez, seen a lot of him tonight, too. Greg Harris, I remember that card. It's kind of a Mandela effect for me. Taking us to 87 tops and the search for the Barry Bonds and Bo Jackson. I think those are my two favorite cards of this set. Larkin's a good one, too, though. And, of course, you can't forget Will Clark. Another Wally Joyner in here. Cangelosi leads us off. Hal McRae, Sean Dunstan. Joyner's Gold Cup for Gosey. Ernie Witt, Brian Fisher, Dave Rigetti, and Ozzie Smith has a nice breath of fresh air in that pack full of commons. Dave M's 87 Tops is already my favorite set. Dave M, I got your package today. Thanks so much, man. Dave M actually sent me a real Ghostbusters belt, and I did not have it in my collection, so thank you very much. Also sent me the uh, Fright Features Peter Vankman along with the Charlie Huff autograph that he got TTMs. Thanks a lot, Dave. I have something I want to send you back in return that I picked up a while ago at the flea market, uh, Cubbies related. Show my appreciation. That, that RGB belt was sweet, man. I, I never come across it. Almost bought it before, but uh, didn't have it. Giants and Rangers sticker here. Jane Moyer rookie card. Another decent one there. He pitched for a long time, too. Obviously off-center, but uh, still a decent rookie, though, to have. Joe B is looking for the heavy hitters, though. I know that. Don Robinson. 
Jay Howe in Cavillia again. <laughs> New Bad Omen, Juan Berenger. Put him on the list. And Dave Smith looking way too cocky. Yeah, I definitely needed that for my collection. Junk Wax Sal says Canseco for the Hall of Fame. Sal, thanks so much, man. I appreciate that. Good to have you in here. And I think a lot of people would agree with you on Canseco in the Hall of Fame. I think I found came across something I'd like to send you to. I know you're a Canseco collector. Come across random things hidden in my toy room that I put aside for people whenever I know they collect certain players. And I know Sal is a big Canseco fan. Quite a few people out there to PC him. 86 tops. We're looking for... Not Ken Landro, Fernando Valenzuela. They got his name right on that one. Steve Lake, Jerry Royster, Ray Knight, Terry Forster, Rob Deere, and John Tudor. Patreon Pirate, what's happening, Brad T? What is going on? Four packs of the break, and then we're going to do a, uh impromptu auction that will probably be really haggard. So if you want some comedy, stick around for that. 85 Fleers up next. We ripped a box of these not too many moons ago. And what did we find? We found the Pucket rookie card. Yeah, Pucket and Clemens. I think we, yeah, I think we found both of those, I'm pretty sure. Mets, jersey sticker. What the hell? Freaking rip off there. Milt Wilcox, <laughs> Len Barker. Couldn't have been Clemens, could it? Floyd Bannister, a very uh, suggestive pose. Randy Reddy. Tom Seaver, who just recently passed. That's definitely not a nice name there. Good looking shot of Seaver and Atley Hammaker. Seaver being the best card in that pack. Three Phillies vomit, Joe Yankee says. Let's pull you a big rookie, man. We have three packs to do it with. I want to save the 84 Don Russ because those are pretty valuable now. Same with 83 tops. Some of those boxes, those are freaking through the roof. At least five or 600 bucks a box. I think 84 is now close to 800. Same with 83. 81 Don Russ. You can still get a box of these for under 100 bucks, I believe. Tim Raines being the best rookie in this set along with Harold Baines. That gum looks absolutely disgusting, so I'm not going to eat that. Jerry Turner is leading us off here. Don Russ quality control is absolutely horrific and awful in their first year in 81. And they would go in to lose the rights to put gum in packs after this year. Thank goodness for that because... Just a freaking goopy mess most of the time. Steve Yeager, Kenta Colby again. Oscar Gamble. No John Wathens in this pack, though. Ron Say, Pat Zachary, Reggie Jackson. Nice. Another nice name there. And a, not too bad looking of a card at all, Joe. I'm sure you probably like that one. Joe Yankee, obviously a Yankee fan. Sure you can probably like that one. I don't know what to choose here. I guess we'll choose 84 tops. I don't know if I've ever opened a pack of 84 Don Russ. Willie Wilson, Al Oliver, League Leaders card. I kind of want to eat that gum, too. All right. Now, we opened a cello, or what, nine cello packs of these recently and found... Did we find all three rookies in, like, seven packs? That was freaking amazing. All right. Fergie Jenkins, Hall of Famer. Take us into the realm of rookies here. Dickie Knowles. Love 83 tops, too. Fergie Jenkins took us to the realm of Fergie Jenkins with two of his cards in the same pack. Ed Vandenberg, Rick Roden, Alex Trevino, Chuck Rainey, Bob Gritch, Jason Thompson, Storm Davis, Louis Aponte is furious that we did not find the Bog Sandberg or Gwyn rookie card in that pack, and I am too. Maybe we'll save something for this 84 Don Russ pack. Bullpuck says, I'm hoping for a Joe Carter rated rookie out of that 84 pack. I hope so. I love that card. I just finally picked it up from my collection like last year. Never owned it. Joe Carter being uh, one of the big rookies in here, but the biggest obviously being Don Mattingly. A PSA 10 of that card now is like over 2000 bucks, Maybe like 2200 
creepy looking Andy Hassler. I've never seen that card before. There's our puzzle pieces. Bobby Brown. I love this set, though. This set is just beautiful looking cards for this era. Luis Sanchez. Cecilio. Fergie Jenkins again, our first rated rookie. Brian Dayette. I don't remember that name at all. And we have a Paul Mulder, though. It's with a bad cut. Go figure. Dave Beard. Bill Dolly. Scott Olger. Freaking Vaughn Hayes again. Brian Olkers. No Donnie Baseball in there, but, man, is that a lot of fun to open those up and go through there. I said it's definitely tough to um, try to open just one pack and find some of the big rookies, but it is possible. We definitely found some decent ones, no real big name ones. We found Frank Conan, we found Smoltz, Kevin Brown, Jay Moyer. We found like the lower end rookie cards, but it's still fun to pull those regardless and also see some funny photography as well. That concludes tonight's break, but we're going to go to the next segment here that isn't going to spill over too long, so... If you got some time, we were gonna do some auctions. Wish I had some like cool background music to cue or something like that, but I don't. I'm not prepared. But I do have this haggard timer that everyone seems to love and adore. But concluding from last night or continuing from last night, everyone that uh, was part of the auction that paid the shipping already, you are clear. You can bid on things without having to pay shipping. Um, but I do ask that you pay within a few minutes of winning each auction. So, let's get down to it. First off, we're going to do a Johnny Bench lot. We don't have too many to go through, so I'm not going to be here too long, but um, a lot of legendary players on more modern cards. A lot of reprints, stuff like that. Norman R says, how do we pay for shipping? Shipping is 4 bucks. Everything's PayPal. Um, I ask that you pay along with the first auction, just so it's taken care of, it's out of the way. Everything is shipped in a bubble mailer. There is tracking. I don't send tracking out to everybody, but, you know, if you request it, if you send me an email and say, hey, can you know, I have my tracking, and I'll send it to you. Just because there's, like, I think I have 18 packages to send from yesterday. It would take forever to go through and email everyone their tracking number. But, so if you do want it, you request it, I will send it your way. But, you know, if it does get lost or anything like that, we'll have a tracking number for it. So, no plain one envelope business here. We have three Johnny Bench cards. We have the 68, obviously, blown up rookie card of him that he shared with another player who I can't remember. But um, I actually just bought this card at a card shop for like 15 bucks. It has a crease in it, but you can barely tell. Um, not that particular card, but it's an actual rookie card from 68. Hall of Fame Heroes 2005, Don Russ Diamond Kings. We saw a few of those yesterday. And Hall of Fame... Gallery, Johnny Bench. Super Frank says, put Shoeless Joe in there. Well, ask and you shall receive, footer. There is a Shoeless Joe Jackson right there. I'm not going to throw him in that lot, though, but he is. He'll be thrown into a random lot here pretty soon. And um, that's it for this uh, particular lot. Johnny Bench, three cards, minute 30 in the clock. All auctions start at $1. And if no one else is interested, you might be able to get, you know, several cards for a buck. So, with that being said, we will count it down and go from there. I don't know if anyone's really in the mood for an auction tonight or not, but I figure I got cut off last night because my phone died. Hopefully, we'll have the same kind of luck tonight, but we'll see what happens. Norman Arbit's five bucks. Crown Advocate is five bucks. Crab Nuts McGee says, where did you bonus Wagner was a POS? I don't even know what the hell that means, man. It, it doesn't even make any sense. Boom slang means let's not confuse my, my mailman. Just send it in a plain brown wrapper like everything else I get. Thanks. Lauren Arbid 6. Forty seconds on the bench lot. We also have a Ted Williams lot, a DiMaggio, Yogi Berra, Jackie Robinson, Lou Gehrig. There's like a small Reggie Jackson lot, nothing too crazy. Um, and then we have some random stuff like uh, we'll throw in there. But like I said, I was going to finish these off last time. My phone died. And that is that. So I figured we'd mash it into this end of this live stream. Why can't I log into freaking PayPal? Clock is running down. Hmm. 
It looks like this one is going to go to Norman R for six bucks. You got the bench lot. Like I said before, these are not my cards. These are actually a friend's. I am. He's actually trying to shrink down his collection. So I told him I'd help him out and help him liquidate them. Norman R, you got that one for six bucks, man. The bench lot goes to you for six. No. Corey's also in here documenting them. One more, you got the bench lot. Congrats to you. And it's going to take us to the next order of business. Let's do this one. A two of the same card in here. I'll put that one off to the side. See that for later. We got Jackie Robinson lot. Footer says, would have been cool to see the Heat win. Robinson 52 design. Archives. We have um, Fleer, or Flair Greats. Not number or anything. And then also another archives card here. So three Jackie Robinsons on the clock. A minute 30. Dirk Remington's also here. It says, get yourself half a bag of Doritos auction time. Dirk, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Glad to see you in here. We got a minute 30 on the clock. Go get myself half order of Taco Bell or something. Actually, I haven't eaten Taco Bell in like two weeks. I'm pretty proud of myself. My arteries have been thanking me. Let me see if I can... I don't know why I can't log in. There we go. I will... Uh, I'll post the link down below for this as soon as I freaking log in. If I can log in here. No Taco Bell in two weeks, damn. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's pretty impressive, huh? Donna Blumbaugh bids five. We have 50 seconds left on here. Um, yeah, I'll be posting a link any second now. To anybody that's uh, new to the stream. And the G.I. Joe video is on its way. It'll be here very soon. Along with some other different stuff that I have planned out. There is the link down below. Katrina Racer bid six. Joe's car curl says, how much longer for this stream? Um, not too much longer. I'm just kind of um, just getting rid of the rest of the auction stuff from last night. Selling it off. Looks like the high bid here is going to be six. Criterion Racer, you got the Robinson lot for six. That's all you. Lee H, six bucks. <laughs> Jeremiah says, how about this? I haven't had Taco Bell or any fast food for a month. That's good, man. That is very good. You should keep that going. You should definitely keep that going, man. All right, a fake DiMaggio rookie card. Not sure why it's in that top loader. Like I said, these aren't my cards. Um, upper deck, early 2000. Looks like early 2001, I think. Joseph Paul DiMaggio, and then also upper deck MVP from upper deck choice, 2000. And uh, this one's a nice one. Hall of Records, all-time leaders. DiMaggio, very, very nice. Put a minute 30 in this one. Burger King? Yeah. That's why I haven't been going to Taco Bell. I've been going there and getting the Impossible Whopper. <laughs> That's like... Yep. I got suckered into that real bad. I've got a minute 30 on the clock. FDC Family Cards is, hey, John, just stopping in. Hope everyone is having a good night. FDC, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. I'm not sure if anyone posted a link to your channel or not. Let me get one up there for you. Good to see you, man. FDC Family Cards. Getting close to 700 subs. And it's at 650 right now. There's a link to his channel in case it wasn't posted already. Appreciate that, man. Good to have you with us. Joe's Card Carl says, I like the Impossible Whopper. Yeah, it's freaking good, man. It's really good. Roy B, but it's three bucks. Jeremiah says, is your, is your brother watching right now? I don't know if Eric watches my videos. I don't. I feel like he probably doesn't, more than likely. Corey, thanks for posting a link. 
We got your double teamed FDC. Tom Blomdahl bids four on the DiMaggio lot. We got 22 seconds left. And then we have not too much left. We have like, I don't know, maybe five lots after that. Eric is also streaming right now. Well, thank you guys for being in here. I didn't know he was live tonight. I had no idea. <laughs> Boom slang. <laughs> I didn't know he was live. It looks like Donald Blomdahl looks like won that one for six bucks at the very last second. Donald, you got it, man. The Maggio lot is yours for six bucks. Roy B comes with a seven dollar bid after the timer ends. Like I said before, the lag is always there. Some people have a five second lag. Some people got a ten second lag. Some people is like thirty seconds to a minute. So keep that in mind when bidding. Next up, we're gonna have how about Yogi Berra. Jeremiah says you're gonna watch his live after this. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'll probably be watching. Uh, probably gonna be watching um, Haunting a Bly Manor. I fell asleep during episode two of that last night. I missed the very ending. Yeah, that or Fuller, Fuller House. I don't know what it's going to be tonight. All right, so we have all all time Diamond Kings, Endless Summer. We saw one of those mantles yesterday. Uh, Legend of the Fall, and then also one from Tops that I'm not familiar with. Late '90s Tops. Four Yogi Berras started them all at a buck. With a minute thirty on the clock. Hopefully, you guys can see this. All right, I just bought um, two very double the brightness light bulbs so I might have to wear like sunglasses from now on once I get those in a couple of days <laughs> it's because I wanted to brighten up the background so it's not so dark Dave Emma you know what I've never watched it Donald Blomdahl bids five bucks Frank says why don't you try going by the times on the left of the chat log I don't even I don't see times on the left of the chat log you can't see those on your phone so that's why we do whatever whatever the timer or whatever um, the last bit is whenever the timer goes out of my end. It's what we call it. Tied at seven bucks right now for the four Yogi Berras. Yeah, I feel like I've seen those before, Frank. There might be a way you can turn those on and off, but I mean, it'd be they're not down to the exact second, are they? I thought those were down to the minutes. Tied at eight. 24 seconds at eight bucks. Tom Blomdahl bids nine. On deck, we have a Lou Gehrig lot. We have uh, four, four Lou Gehrig cards coming up. Does it take it down to the seconds, Frank? I'll have to check that out. I'll have to look into that after this. Patreon Pirate bids 10 bucks. Three seconds left. And he gets it. Patreon Pirate, you got it. 10 bucks. With like two seconds left. Yeah, it's by minutes, so that doesn't really help me out too much because we're doing seconds on here. That's what I thought it was. Patreon Pirate, congrats, man. You got it for 10 bucks. A lot is yours, man. Please pay promptly, and that uh, it is flat rate shipping. Four bucks, bubble mailer. And. Please make sure you leave your address in the PayPal note, and we'll get those sent out to you, I don't know, tomorrow or the next day. We have, on deck, we have Lou Gehrig lot. So we have Greats of the Game from early 2000s Fleer. Saw so what, one of those yesterday, maybe Baby Ruth or somebody. I can't remember who it was. 03 Diamond Kings Heritage Collection, Gehrig. Um, 04 Legendary Cuts from SP. SP always made nice cards. And then Upper Deck Legends from, I don't even know, early 2000s, I'm guessing. 2000, looks like. So we have four Gehrigs, a buck as a starting bid, and we have a minute 30 on the clock on the Gehrig a lot. Try to get rid of some of that freaking glare there. There's Ghetto, Ghetto Auction. Criterion Racer bids three bucks. Eight bucks to Roy B. <laughs> Paul L. The ghetto is alive. 
<laughs> yeah, it's about time I had a, a um, name change on here. Donald Beebitt's nine bucks. He's going after all these. And Roy Beebitt's ten bucks. Ten bucks. Donald Blomdahl, the eleven dollar bid. Next up, we have uh, um, I don't know if anyone wants this lot or not, but we'll throw them out there anyways. Reggie lot. There's nothing too crazy there. Ten seconds left on the clock. Also, Ted Williams lot coming up here. There's a big stack of Ted Williams cards. Pretty nice lot. Looks like Roy's at twelve bucks. Looks like Roy got it for twelve bucks. Don Blomdahl comes in after the buzzer goes off. Roy B, you got the Garrig lot for twelve dollars. And um, from what I remember, Roy, you won stuff yesterday too, so you're already good on shipping. Congrats to you, man. You got the Garrigs. I uh, get. Let's do this one. We'll get this out of the way. We got three Reggies. Kellogg's card. Uh oh. We got twenty percent battery life. Please remind me. <laughs> Please remind me to plug my phone in in about ten minutes. So Reggie's Kellogg's card from the early eighties, nineteen seventy nine. So nineteen seventy nine. Cereal box card. We have one of these that used to be in like I don't know beef jerky cans. 2013, the vintage look to it. And then a Diamond Kings card from 05. We'll start this out at a quarter. How about a quarter for the Reggie lot? 25 pennies. Jeremiah says, what's your favorite thing to rip? Um, That's a tough question. 90 tops, 91 Bowman. 92 Bowman. I got. I think I have too many. I have way too many. Boom slang bids one quarter. Norman Arbitz four. Chorus is well. Wow, you don't see those very often. Don Blomdahl bids twenty six cents. The high bid is actually at four from Norman. <laughs> We're at four bucks, guys. I know the lag is probably pretty bad, but Norman is still in the lead with fifty two seconds left. And. Um, yeah, I think I have a Reggie Jackson 78 tops all-star I'll throw in. I think it's sitting next to me somewhere. I'll throw that one in, too. Sport Flicks. Uh, it's not a Sport Flicks card. It's a Kellogg's card. Kind of the same type of background, but it doesn't actually move. Norm Roberts, four bucks on this one. <laughs> it come with an egg. Good old Reggie bar. To get a box of those and eat them, that'd be that would make for a fun video. Try not to get sick and eat the entire box of his candy bars if you can find a box of those. It'd probably be disgusting. <laughs> Norman, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Right back at you. The best card I ever pulled. Jeez, I don't know, man. That'd be a tough question just because I don't know some of the some of the cards I pulled got sent to PSA. I don't know if they're P and up could be in PSA tens or what they were. I honestly. I've pulled some pretty good rookie cards in my life, but I don't know. I've never really thought about that. Eating 40-year-old Reggie bars. The high bid actually went to Norman, four bucks. Norman got those. Those Reggies are all yours, man. I'll put those off to the side and we'll take us to Ted Williams. Footers is a basketball era card. The Menendez brothers' best card ever pulled. You know, I just found that in that collection I bought recently. I came across that card, and hopefully one day I'll do a video recapping that collection I bought. There was a lot of there's a lot of fecal matter in there, but I did find that Menendez brothers card and a lot of funny cards and some decent rookies. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one here. The final um, single player lot we have here. The rest will be kind of all jarred together. Ted Williams, Heroes Highlights. This is kind of a Mandela effect for me because I've never, ever seen these cards before from 92 Upper Deck, Insert Set. Cool to go back and come across cards that, you know, from an era that you grew up in and that you've never seen before or never even heard of before. I never heard of Heroes Highlights, Insert Set. 
Ted Williams, um, numbered card, 14,026. I didn't know that they did that. That's pretty crazy in that set. There's the GM from the mid-90s. General Motors card. Triple Threads Heroes. I like this one a lot. That's a pretty cool one. Greats the Game. Another Triple Threads Heroes. The same card. No, it's a different one. We'll leave it in there. And then Nomar and Ted Williams Face Off. Pretty cool card there from early 2000s Upper Deck. So, the Williams lot. Start to the buck. Minute 30 on the clock. And counting down now. Jeremiah, thanks, man. Appreciate you um, <clears throat> promoting that. Donald Blomdahl bids 19 bucks. <laughs> Jeremiah, that's not a... I don't think it's a $100 bid, but that's that's kind of what it came off as. Need these for my oncologist? <laughs> That'd be a great gift, Mark. I think you'd be the man. You'd probably get like a discount from now on. So I bid's 19 bucks. Paul also is not a bid typo correction. Yeah, that's what I figured. I saw him posting something else, and I'm like, it looks like a bid. That happened before with Sal, Drunk Wax Sal. I don't know if he's still in here or not, but he was, like, talking to somebody else, and it came off like a bid. Mark Arbitz, 20 bucks in the Williams lot. I guess he must really like his oncologist. <laughs> Donald Blomdahl bids 21 bucks on the Williams lot and on deck. What do we have on deck? I don't even know. We're just going to slop a whole bunch of cards together. Oops, I don't know how that got in there. All right, on deck. Roy B bids 22 bucks. We got all just a stack of random cards. Again, these are not my cards. These are my buddy's cards. And this is the last of them. Donald Blum Doll bids 24 as the buzzer ends, yeah, that face-off card is sick. Don B, you got you got that lot at twenty-four bucks. Nice Williams lot there, and now we're gonna go into random territory. Don B, winning quite a few things tonight, man. All right. Um, we're just going to throw some random ones out there. Um, let's do some reprints. I don't really have that many reprints, but, um, I'll make that in a lot, put that in a lot, put that one in there. And, um, yeah, we'll just throw these together. We have Rod Carew, 3,000. Hit Club from Fleer 2000. And Babe Ruth Salt in a SWAT. One of 10,000. One randomly of 10,000. Hank Aaron, 715th home run. We have Jackie Robinson again. These are kind of some extras. And Johnny Bench, we had two of those earlier. So we'll make that a lot. Make it 50 cents for that one minute on the clock. And I'm going to put together the next lot here. We're just about done. We're tidying up. Nothing really nail biting left for me to throw at you but um, we'll just throw everything together in the next lot any takers charge your phone good call Corey I completely forgot about it <laughs> yeah pretty soon won't have that problem anymore Unplug my microphone so there's a terrible echo. I don't know. I unplugged it. Can you tell the difference? Criterion Racer bids five. We've got 14 seconds left. And to anyone that is bidding. Oh, well, that's not good. Freaking PayPal. So annoying. It just logs you out. I mean, if you're on the freaking PayPal screen, it'll log you out. No screensaver, no nothing. Just freaking logs you out. It's a little bit uh, too much security. More than I need or want. Because it's an inconvenience. It's annoying. All right. So anyone that's winning any lots or auctions, there is the PayPal link. 
Who got this one? It looks like Roy B sniped it. Seven bucks. Roy B got those. Random lot. This next one is the last one of the evening. There's a bunch of random stuff in it. Actually, you know what? You know what? We have two more. Apologize. There's a newer one that is randomly thrown in at the very end. Roy B got that one for seven bucks. This one, we have recently deceased Lou Brock. Rest in peace. One of the all-time greats. 2005 Diamond Kings. Alexander Cartwright, numbered five out of 400. That's a pretty sweet card. Baseball pioneer from Upper Deck. A unique etched in the trading card, or etched in time trading card. That's pretty freaking awesome. That's an actual piece of wood. Eddie Collins from what? Fleer? The tradition? I don't know. It's numbered 885 on 1939. 2002 Fleer. Mickey Cochran, 385 out of 550 numbered. So we got a lot of number cards in here. Not the Eddie Matthews, though. Heritage Collection. Eddie Plank, Christy Mathewson, Rogers Hornsby, Bob Feller, Gallery of Stars, not numbered. Pepper Martin, Forever Cardinals. That's a cool card. Numbered 1623 out of 1928. Napoleon Lajoe. I probably butchered that, but I tried. Cool looking card of him from 2004 Tops. Way before, probably anywhere times. The great Sheilas Joe Jackson, all time classic. Sandy Koufax. Ralphie Kiner. And then we have two George Kell cards. I don't know. Foil difference there. One's red and one's uh, gold. I don't know if it's a parallel. I couldn't tell you. Uh, 05. Don Russ, Diamond Kings. Those are all part of one lot. LaJoy, Sam Moose says. All part of one freaking lot. Minute 30 in the clock. Start to the buck. Jeremiah says, your brother and you should open a card store when you retire. I've asked him about that before if he wanted to go into business. I don't know. He didn't really sound like he was too eager to do it. I was ready to just quit my job and go and try to open a toy store slash card shop, but he didn't seem too into it. I think that'd be pretty freaking awesome, though. Tier Racer bids 12 bucks on that lot. $13 Donald Blomdahl. And we have one more up next. I'm thinking through these dirty pack wrappers. There's a Bryce Harper card in here. Everyone kept asking for Bryce Harper last night, and there's one in here. This is a really random lot that was in the mix. I, I don't know anything about it. So, but that'll be coming up next. There is a Harper since everyone was demanding it last night. Some sort of Harper parallel. I think it's a second year card for him. 2013. Yeah, his rookie was 2012. So, second year cognac or something. I don't know. 16, Gratirium Racer. Jeremiah, thanks, man. I don't know if we'll be here in 10 minutes or not. We might be long gone, but you're more than welcome to come back in 10 minutes. Maybe we'll see you then. Hopefully, I'll have a video for you tomorrow night. Not baseball card related, finally. I'm doing something different. Something else I got in the mail that's pretty freaking cool. I didn't even open it up yet. I'm going to wait to do that on the video, but that should be tomorrow night. Five seconds on the clock, and it looks like Retirium Racer's got the high bid at 16 bucks, And he keeps it. 16 bucks to Lee H. You got it, man. A lot of numbered cards, and that's pretty sweet. 16 bucks, All yours, man. And Texas to our very last order of business. Paul else is probably Ghostbusters. Well, I can't give that away, but maybe I'm too predictable. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm too predictable in that sense. All right, final lot in order of business. G.I. Joe video tomorrow. C. Mike Smith says, I mean, there's a decent possibility. I'd say it's about a 20% chance it's G.I. Joe video, 80% chance it's Ghostbusters related. So... Yeah, don't I wouldn't place any bets on G.I. Joe video if I were you. But there's always a possibility. It's just getting lower as time goes on. The final lot, Prince Fielder. We have a bunch of relics here. Spectrum, these are nice looking cards. 186 out of 199. Prince Fielder, Johnny Estrada, 154 out of 199. Very nice looking sleek set. Dan Ugla, Justin Hampson, sticker auto. From Spectrum and Ryan Sweeney. Sloppy sticker auto. So a bunch of Spectrum cards there. I think my favorite is probably Prince Fielder. 
Oh, Lord, Johnny Estrada. <laughs> Chapter that says, do some shady Craigslist meetup videos. That's what Eric always told me that I should. Adam Watts says, I've been hearing about this G.I. Joe video for over a year. It has been a long time, man. And when the day comes when I finally release that, people are going to be really pissed off that they begged for it for so long. It's going to be terrible. Dan Ugly. <laughs> All right, and then we have an Albert Almora. I don't know what this is. Bowman Chrome. 14 out of 15. That's pretty cool. Bowman Chrome from like 2019. Yeah, way off. 2015, it looks like. Or 2014. Yeah, 2014. Chrome prospects of some kind. Albert Almora. And then we'll throw in the second year Bryce Harper sparkly Christmas colors card. I like that. We have red and we have green on there. That's what I'm going to call it. Minute 30 in the clock. We have starting bid for a buck. Paul L says, John Jab's obituary. Love typing up G.I. Joe video. That was never made. That and don't forget about Junk Wax Jeopardy. I know I haven't mentioned it for a while, but that doesn't mean that I haven't stopped thinking about it. It is coming. They're both coming very soon. And Retro Game Night's coming. And any other idea that you've heard me throw out there um, carelessly and then not follow through with, they're all on the horizon. It's a matter of when. So don't hold your breath. <laughs> Paul says Retro Game Night actually happened once. It may happen again. It may happen again. There's a, there's a there's about a twenty percent chance that that will happen again sometime. FTC Family Cards been sixteen. Oh, Norman R says you have VHS of GI Joe. You know what? I think I do have a couple VHS of GI Joe. Roy B bid seventeen. Fall Creek bids eighteen. I don't. I couldn't tell you what that Bryce Harper's worth. I don't know if that's why everyone is uh, bidding up this lot or what. Maybe it's the Albert Amora. Probably not. <laughs> Corey says, G.I. Joe video should be out in a couple weeks. That's what my tombstone will say. Mark R. says, show cards again, please. we got the Prince Fielder Relic, Johnny Estrada, Ryan Sweeney Auto, Justin Hampson Auto, Dan Ugla, Patch, Albert Almora, Chrome, whatever, and Bri Bryce Harper. 20 bucks Patreon Pirate Bids with three seconds left. Numbered out of 15, the Albert Almora. FDC Family Cards Bids 21. The very last fragment of a second. You got it for 21 bucks. FDC. Mark R comes in 22. Just a second. A couple seconds too late. FDC has already claimed the Harper stack with the rest. It goes to you. Joe's Card Cross is RBI 4. Yeah, we played the hell out of that game. That game was sick. We got we to gotta play that someday. That ends the ghetto auctions. Say goodbye to the timer because you won't be seeing it again for quite some time. But that is all I have for you guys tonight. I appreciate you all watching the video and um, participating in the auction and um, the break as well. Hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow with um, a different video that's not baseball card related. So stick around. Stay tuned for that to come. I hope you guys have an excellent evening. I will see you all tomorrow.